this week on the show, we have the co-founder of Plantvine, Daryl Takor. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivation and advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of learning to find the silver lining in challenging situations. The reality is challenges are an opportunity for growth. If you look at any situation you perceive as bad, it's very likely that there must be one valuable lesson you either learned about life or importantly, learned about yourself. For example, maybe it was going through a tough breakup or losing a job opportunity. If you look at the situation, did it help you to become stronger? Maybe it even helped you to raise your standards and learn what you do want versus what you don't want. Oftentimes, challenging situations force us to grow, reevaluate our priorities, and even help us to be more grateful for the things we do already have. Make your mission today to look for the silver lining in moments when you find yourself facing obstacles and train your mind to see it as an opportunity for growth. As the saying goes, the pessimist looks at the storm, the optimist at the beautiful silver lining. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, let's talk about how plant vine uh, fits the needs of consumers for people that want indoor plants, outdoor plants, or just that decorative zen-like plant to decorate their homes. Well, you know, we had a discussion when we brought in our, our, uh, our business manager or general manager. And one of the first things he asked, he says, he says, what is plant vine? And, you know, like, well, we saw plants. And he's like, no, no, no. But, you know, what's your niche? You know, like, like, where do you, wh wh what's your market segment? And, you know, at the time, you know, we we're trying to figure things out. And, and, you know, some of us wanted to focus on, on indoor plants only, some of us on rare plants. Um, and I think we you know, came up with is we, we want to, be able to supply a little bit of everything. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have the co-founder of Plantvine, Daryl Takor. Plantvine offers its customers one of the largest selections of indoor and outdoor houseplants in a variety of sizes out of all major online retailers. Daryl, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, thank you. And yourself? I am doing fantastic. I'm really excited to talk a little bit about your business and how you've combined your passion for garden design, business, and of course, plants. So let's talk about your journey in creating Plant Vine. Uh, sure. So, I mean, I think it started way back before I even got into the plant business. Uh, I think my mom was like the OG plant mom. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I'm from Trinidad and um, and we had the best garden of anybody that I knew. Oh. And my mom was one of those that the, the whole front patio was covered in plants. We had plants hanging all over the house. And I hated it because every morning she made us get up at six o'clock, all the kids to water her plants before we went to school. So wow. it wasn't a good start, but <laughs> it got me used to taking care of plants. Um, so it started there and then you know, from there, you know, obviously, you know, moved to, I moved to the U.S. from Trinidad and, um, you know, first, uh, you know, I was in a totally different industry and in 2005, I bought a landscape business and I, I didn't know anything about landscaping at the time. Uh, the only thing I knew were coconut trees and mango trees. That's it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, little by little, I learned myself in and I think it's because I was so passionate about plants. I picked it up fast um, and so we started off as a a, a typical maintenance business, just cutting grass and doing, you know, mow, blow and go, as they call it. Um, from there, we started doing a lot more design work, install work. Um, I started doing designs, uh, a lot of landscape designs. And, and that's really what got me uh, so vested into plants. Um, I loved it. Even on my free time, I would go to nurseries, walk around. Um, it was it was just something that I liked. So I... I I saw a need we, at the time, you know, to find plants for our landscape jobs. It was, it was really difficult. There was nothing out there that, that was uh, easy to use. So um, I, I started a new business, which w was for the wholesale end of the plant trade for growers that grew and sold to retail stores. Um, and that's when I, I partnered up with Danny. So Danny's my best friend. At the time, he lived in New York. and. He, you know, we built this, this, this site, 
Uh, we had that running for about five years. And then from there, we transitioned from the wholesale end, end to the retail. So basically, we leveraged all the data and all the know-how that we had from all the, the wholesale nurseries and started selling it retail. Um, so that was about, I would say, 2016 or so that we started Plant Vine. Very nice. And as you said, uh, your business partner, Darren, you guys have been childhood friends. So wh what's it been like, you know, creating a business and kind of sharing your passions together to create this successful business? Uh, it's the best thing. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it was awesome, especially in the beginning when, when it was just him and I, it was Danny and I. And, uh, you know, so it was it was almost more fun than work. You know, we yeah. we we'd go in, you know, we'd work for an hour, then play computer games for an hour, then eat pizza, then work for another hour, you know, but we would do that, it would seem like almost 24 hours a day. So we got a lot of stuff done, um, you know, but, and we had fun while we did it. Um, that, and Danny, the thing is, I've known Danny a really long time. Actually, I was friends with his brother, um, and Danny was only eight years old when I met him. I was 14. So we, we grew up together. I, uh, his family is, is basically like my second family. So even now that we work together, it's like working with a brother. Um, yeah. uh, our wives actually, they joke that, they say that once we get successful, really successful, we're gonna elope together <laughs> and, and, and leave them, you know? Uh, so it's, it's really fun. I mean, it comes with its challenges, um, like any other partnership, but uh, we really don't have issues. You know, a lot of people advised us against doing uh, a 50-50 partnership. They said, oh, you're gonna have, issues and, and not be able to sell them and we've never ever had any kind of problem like that i mean we work really well together we may have our disagreements about certain things and you know decisions that we have to make uh in the business and we may bicker back and forth but somehow we always end up with uh the best solution possible um and you know at the end of the day we go home we still hang out almost every weekend you know my family i have you know wife and kids now and we're over at his house all the time he's over at our house um, so you know for me it, it works out great um, you know and then for the the skill sets that we're lacking uh, we we hire other people to fill those sets like I mean you know we've hired business managers marketing people you know so for other areas that are not our strong suit you know I'm, I'm a plant guy Danny's the like he's a rock star programmer um, you know and so we do what we do best and we find other people to, to fill in the gaps I love that. What a special relationship. You guys are best friends, business partners, and of course, more importantly, you're sharing your passion together, which I think is a, such a special bond. Let's talk about how Plant Vine uh, fits the needs of consumers for people that want indoor plants, outdoor plants, or just that decorative zen-like plant to decorate their homes. Well, you know, we had a discussion when we brought in our, our, uh, our business manager, or general manager, and one of the first things he asked, he says, he says, what is plant vine? And, you know, like, well, we sell plants. And he's like, no, no, no. But, you know, what's your niche? You know, like, like where do you, wh wh what's your market segment? And, you know, at the time, you know, we were trying to figure things out. And, then, you know, some of us wanted to focus on, on indoor plants only, some of us on rare plants. Um, and I think we you know, came up with is we, we want to, be able to supply a little bit of everything. I actually, um, I'm a big fan of that that big store chain. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but the one that has the bullseye for the for the logo. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, they have such a cult following. You, you know which store I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you know, my, every woman loves to shop there. You know, they. I mean, somehow they love it. So, you know, for me, I want it to be that type of store for the plant industry. A little bit of everything, um, you know, good prices, expect good quality, you know, um, and, you know, for all your plant needs, be able to come to us. So we actually offer everything. We, from indoor plants, garden plants, rare plants, medicinal plants, fruiting trees, um, and we'll even go out and find something. If, if we have somebody that wants a specific plant that we don't have, you know, they can either message us or we have a, uh, page on our, our website where they can go in and uh, request uh, a specific type of plant and I can go and try to find it. Um, so for me, you know, you know, I don't want to focus on just, for instance, finished plants that come in a really nice pot. We offer that, but it's not the only thing that we offer. Um, or 
specifically Zen plants or indoor plants, we, we have it all. So, um, you know, if, if somebody comes to us and on one order they want to have a plant for inside and a fruit tree for outside and a rare plant, you know, we, we can supply it all to them. Mm -hmm. And you guys work with a network of plant nurseries from all over the world that specialize in plant species from all over the globe. So you really have it all. So tell us about that. Um, that started, I, I believe it started from when I did my landscaping and all the connections that I made. And then from there, when we progressed into the uh, into our wholesale plant business that we it, it, I say wholesale plant. We didn't sell plants wholesale, but we developed some technologies for wholesale nurseries to be able to manage their businesses. And so we made a lot of connections um, and you know a lot of roads in roads with with these nurseries. So we leveraged that now when we want to find the material. So some of these growers they specialize in in growing certain types of plants. Uh, other growers they grow specifically for us, just for us. Um, and then you know some of them we you know we use they bring in plants from abroad you know for instance like thailand and south america and so forth um when we need it um the thing is that no one nursery can grow every type of plant i mean we offer hundreds of different varieties of plants and each one of those needs to be grown a specific way needs to be treated with uh specific um well in insecticides or fungicides or fertilizers and whatnot so it's almost impossible to grow everything and so these nurseries they tend to specialize into growing maybe you know five six seven eight or a dozen types of plants but they grow masses of them and they they know how to grow them so they're the experts on those plants and we'll go and source them from from the, the different nurseries bring them in and we ship them we try not to hold the plants too long here we want to make sure they go out as, as quickly as possible now we do also grow a lot of our own plants and we started that um, during the pandemic because there was a shortage, you know, the whole houseplant movement blew up and you know everybody was buying plants and uh, plant parenting was a big thing and so we had a, an issue trying to source material um, and that's when we, you know, we bought, you know, some additional acreage, we built some greenhouses and now we grow a lot of our own material too. Uh, but for the most part, we work with a network of growers. And I actually like it because some of these guys are small nurseries, you know, little mom and pops, and they have no way of, of getting on the Internet. So we're uh, their gateway to get their material online. Mm -hmm. And I know one of the goals of Plant Vine is to bring the joy of plant parenthood to all. I know there's something special about, you know, I know growing up, uh, my parents would grow uh vegetables in the garden and to see them kind of slowly grow and and you know to see it from a seed to growing it's really rewarding and special tell us about that message of being a plant parent <laughs> <laughs> well you know normally when they when you know when i get uh people my customers contacting me and they're asking me hey how do i keep it alive i, I always <laughs> tell them i joke with them i say don't don't just kill them and buy another one you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> better for me but but no for me um i love seeing people get um interested in plants i mean to me that's the biggest thing you know i'm i'm a, I'm a fanatic and to see other people feel the same way i i think it's special uh so we sell actually we sell a lot of plants that are small plants for for them to grow and i love getting the feedback you know a lot of times we'll get messages on instagram or private messages from people showing us how the plants are surviving and getting big and and ask they'll ask us uh, how do they propagate it or uh, do cuttings and and so we spread the knowledge in fact a lot of the plants that we sell are really mature plants you know um, bigger than most nurseries sell out there. Online nurseries only sell up to a certain size. I, I think we sell some of the biggest plants you can buy online. Um, and a lot of them, they're ready to be propagated. And, and we even put it in the description. When I do special segments and I have big mature plants, I'll, I'll put it right there in the text that you get this and you can divide it into 10 plants. And if you want, just sell some on Etsy if you want or sell, sell some online yourself. Doesn't matter to me, you know, for me, um, you know, to see people really appreciate propagating and taking care of the plant. Um, I think the more people we have like that, I, you know, the better it is for, for me and for all of us.
Mm -hmm. There's a really big community of people that love plants. I feel that like for me, I grew up like that. My mom loves plants. We've always had plants all around the house. Uh, when she would go on vacation, I'd be in charge of, you know, watering all her plants. And I feel like it brings a lot of wellness. So let's talk about how plants bring wellness into your home. Um, well, I mean, so the first thing is um, there are a lot of people talk about the air purifying um, effects of plants. and it's one of those things that we we list and everybody out there lists air purifying i mean personally for me um you know if you really dig into it you know they purify the air but you know the the truth of the matter is it's not as much as you would think that it would make a big difference in air quality but you know um that's one of the you know one of the big uh myths out there um but they do purify the air but in terms of mental wellness um, I mean, without a doubt, you know, having plants in the house, I mean, it's, it's like walking into your own oasis. Uh, when I come home, you know, and I go and I sit down I'm in, in all the greenery, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm taken away into, you know, in, in, you know, into a forest or going on a hike. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a big thing, you know, and I think a lot of people, you know, especially, uh, you know, that are into yoga and, and you know, into uh, their mental health, you know, the plants, I think, may give a special bond and connection to nature. You know, something that if you're in a house and you don't have any greenery, you know, you, you don't get it. And, and there's another aspect, too, when you take care of plants and you're nurturing it, like you said, and you, you water it, you, you, do, you develop a connection with the yeah. plants, you know. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> you, you actually, yeah, yeah, some people play music for the plants, they give the <laughs> plants names, and, you know, and, and so, you know, there's a special bond, and you actually look forward to coming home and seeing, hey, did it grow a new leaf, or is there a new fruit, or, you know, so, so there's, there's happiness there also. Absolutely. I mean, they're alive, right? Yes. <laughs> so yeah. I, even talking to them, watering, taking care of them, they, um, they definitely prosper and grow. People don't realize that. And as I said, for me, like, because I grew up with a mom that loves plants, it's something that I understand. So I think there's something really special about nurturing a plant and seeing it grow. Yeah, absolutely. And they get sick just like any other living thing, and you got to take care of them just like, you know, other living things and you got to feed them also you know so it's 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 like having a pet it really is you know yeah. um so yeah and, and you know once you start that journey and you start getting one plant and another plant i mean it's just a rabbit hole that you <laughs> you end up going down <laughs> and the next thing you know it's like like your, your house is full of plants <laughs> and let's talk about the plant parent guide you have on your website to help people take care of their plants yeah so um that's a that's one of the biggest things with uh, with owning a plant. A lot of people don't want to get into plant uh, parenting because they're afraid uh, of killing the plant. Um, but really and truly, it's it's not that difficult. Most plants are, are pretty easy to take care of, um, and you know. So for us, for pretty much every plant we sell, we try to give some instructions on how to take care of them. But we also have categories for beginner plant parents. You know, if you're looking for plants that are uh, almost impossible to kill or plants that are easy to, to maintain you know we we have a certain selection of those that they can start with um, and you know we're always offering new plants so you know there are times that we bring in a new plant maybe we don't we don't have the time yet to to write down the instructions um, on how to take care of it but you know we're always a, a phone call away an email away and to me the best best uh, uh, plant care service out there is, is Google, <laughs> you know, yeah. you get on Google and I mean, you can find everything you need, you know, you can find it from my, my competition also, you know, my competition or from botanical gardens, um, from Reddit, you know, there, there are a lot of resources out there and I mean, I'll be the first to admit, I mean, I don't know everything about every plant, you know, we sell so many different types of plants, a lot of times I get asked also and I have to do my research, you know, mm -hmm. I have to go online. Know, read about it, you know, then call my nurseries and growers and ask them, pick their brain and, you know, and eventually I start learning, but, you know, with the hundreds of varieties that we sell, it's, it's, you know, there's no way that I can know every single one. And every now and then, you know, just something new pops up, you know, somebody sends a picture of a plant and it has, you know, strange marking or something that I've never seen before. And, you know, there I go again, you know, just <laughs> making the calls, <laughs> you yeah. know, trying to figure out what it is, you know. 
Yeah, and I, I want to talk about, you know, with any entrepreneurial journey, it comes with its share of challenges. So what are some challenges you face starting your business? And what advice would you have for someone that wants to create a business but is scared to take the leap? Um, I think one of the biggest things is, uh, it, well, the first thing is, is making sure you have a, a business model that's a little bit unique uh, and, to, and differentiate from, from other businesses. Um, that's one of the things when we started there, there weren't a whole lot of plant businesses out there, so we saw a need. Um, there were some that were niche and they sold only like indoor plants or certain types of plants, but no, no plant online plant company that sold everything that you could want. So we saw, uh, we saw an opportunity there. So I think that's the first thing is identifying the opportunity and start small, um, baby steps. Uh, that was one of the things that we had to learn as we went along. You know, a lot of times we'll have all these big ideas and, and, you know, we'll try to do things and, you know, we jump the gun, you know, you, you know, you look at other companies and you get like starstruck and like, Oh, well, you know, this company, you know, is, is, you know, Elon Musk is doing this or that guy is doing that and Amazon's doing this and you, you try to do it all and, and you can't, you know, you have to, you have to grow the business little by little, you know, and so we started in the garage, um, you know, Danny's house, we, we packed plants in the garage and moved down here to, uh, to Homestead and we were packing plants under a tarp, under wow. a tarp, you know, and yeah, when it rained, you know, sometimes the tarp will get full of water and oh, we'll wait. have to poke a hole, you know, in, in, in the tarp to drain the water before it collapsed on us, you know. So, <laughs> you know, we started there and, you know, little by little, then we built a little barn and then we built, you know, we expanded more and more. Um, and we're still always um, looking and, and trying to make decisions as to, you know, which way we should go, you know, should we... You know, marketing, for instance, you know, there's so much marketing you can do and you have to make smart decisions on where you spend your money, you know, social media marketing and so forth. So, you know, I, I think that's the big thing is, you know, let the business grow um, on its own. You know, don't try to force it, um, you know, really take the steps, know where you stand and, and grow it, you know, grow, grow it a little by little. Um, and, and that's it. I th um, you know, we've been on a long journey and we're still every day we have meetings on what's the next steps and we have to make decisions and and plan. Mm -hmm. I think that's great advice is to start small. I think as an entrepreneur you just want to jump into it and start big and if you don't see the results you get frustrated but it's really to start small and just see it progress slowly by slowly so I think that's very practical and great yeah. advice. Yeah because you know a lot of times you want to do things and everything costs money you know and yeah. <laughs> you know and and you know, as a small business, you only have so much that you you ha you can spend on promotions and advertising and material and bringing in inventory. You know, so you know, and and when you do it w like this and you do a gradual um, um, increase and you gradually build the business, I think you stay more focused and you you, s you focus on what's more important for you and for the business. Absolutely. And Daryl, where can our viewers find out more about Plantvine? I know we have a special promo code where we're going to link below. So where can our viewers uh, find out more? Um, well, uh, you can go to see us on our website, plantvine.com. Uh, we sell some plants on Amazon. We, um, we are on Instagram. We're on TikTok, uh, Facebook. Uh, so, I mean, we, tr we try to be on pretty much every platform out there. And, and you know, we're also just, just a phone call away if you Google up Plantvine. I love it. Thank you so much, Daryl, for being on the show. And I think it's really inspiring that you're doing something you're really passionate about and you're making it into a business. And I think that's great. So thank you for being on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. And TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.